Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and we are playing level 11, Ice Citadel. First off, here is the map for the level. As you can see, it is a pretty big level. This completes finding Ice Citadel from level 10, Gloomy Glacier, and we are given three tasks. One is to destroy all the Dark Gems. Like with the task from level 9, Frostbite Village, we need to find and destroy all 10 Dark Gems in this realm to break down the Dark Gem Force Field leading to Red's Chamber. Another is to free Elder Aster. Elder Aster is being held captive somewhere inside the Ice Citadel, and all we need to do is free him, and you will be rewarded. Finally, we are given a task to power the Supercharge Gadget, which we already completed, where all we need to do is collect 40 Light Gems to power the Supercharge Gadget. Let's start by looking around the starting area. Okay, looks good, nothing to collect. Ahead, we have some bear trap enemies. I recommend using your electric breath to defeat them, but you can also use your horn dive. Here we see a Nork enemy that just walked through a metal chest, and if we keep watching, it walks through a metal beam as well. Surely our flame breath will have no effect at all. I guess not. Ahead, we have some more bear trap enemies to take care of that are blocking a locked chest. Good thing we got some extra lock picks from the previous level. Now to open the lock chest. Inside, we find some fireball ammo. Now to defeat the Nork enemy. Let's also defeat the other one that appeared. By the door is a gray spot on the ground you can smash to get some gems. Now to head inside where we see a shop pad to activate. To the left is an orc enemy to defeat. After defeating it, another one appears. Let's defeat it as well and use the swamp rats to recover back to full health. By the dark shard is another gray spot on the ground to smash. Now to take care of the Nork enemy with the shield. Well, that was weird. It didn't drop its shield. I can tell this is going to be a weird level. We start off with enemies walking through things, and now enemies are not dropping their shields when attacked. What else could happen? Anyway, don't worry about going up using the platforms just yet. We're going to start by searching the bottom first. By the Dark Shard is another great spot to smash. Here is another Nork enemy with a shield to defeat. See, now that's what's supposed to happen. After defeating it, another one appears, except without a shield. Let's defeat it as well. This door is locked, so let's continue ahead and defeat the Nork enemy with the shield. Here we see some bear trap enemies blocking the way to deal with. Here is a firework box. Use your flame breath to ignite it to get some gems. Here's another Nork enemy with a shield to barbecue. By the metal beam is another gray spot to smash. Now to take care of the Nork enemy that appeared. Looks like just one more remains. Let's take it out. Behind it, we see a boiler. Use your flame breath to activate it to get a light gem. We also have some strong chests to break as well. Now to go back and head up using the moving platforms. Watch out for the archer enemy shooting arrows and take it out, as well as the nork enemy. Here we see a platform, but let's finish searching along the top first. 
As you can see, the door leading on ahead is locked, and to the left is a water wheel. Behind the water wheel is a firework to ignite. This breaks open the strong chest. First, let's get on the platform, which will take us up to a light gem to collect. Now to go round up the gems. Now to head back up to the water wheel. Use your water breath to activate it. This unlocks the door. Inside, we have some more bear trap enemies to deal with. There's also a yeti enemy to take care of. By the wall is another gray spot to smash. Ahead, we have another Yeti enemy throwing snowballs at us. Let's get it out of the way. We also have some bear trap enemies to defeat. Here we see a metal slab with a target imprinted on it we can smash to get some gems. We then come to a target in front of a locked door, activate it to open the door. Behind it is another gray spot on the ground to smash, as well as some bear trap enemies to defeat. Here we see another boiler to activate it, this time we get nothing for doing so. Right next to it is another gray spot to smash. Now to activate the target to open the door. At the bottom is an orc enemy with a shield to defeat. We also have some bear trap enemies to take care of as well. Here we notice a crack in the wall, charge into it to reveal a hidden locked chest. Good thing we still have a lockpick to open it. Inside we find a dragon egg. Right next to it is another gray spot to smash. Here we have another Nork enemy with a shield to defeat. After defeating it, another Nork enemy appears behind us to defeat. We also have some bear trap enemies along with another Nork enemy to defeat. In the corner is another gray spot to smash. Through the door, we come to a dark gem to destroy. There doesn't seem to be any gems around to get. After destroying it, the ground gives way and we fall to the bottom. Here we see the Dragon Elder. 
The door seems to be locked, but it does look like someone is feeding the Dragon Elder. By the look of all the chalk marks on the wall, I think he's been stuck in here for a while. Let's talk to the Dragon Elder. Free at last, Spyro! Oh, thank you! I have been trapped here since Red returned from exile! I've met with the other Dragon Elders, and I... Yes, yes, I get it, and you have acquired most of the skills you will need. However, there is one more skill you must have if you are to face Red. Well? Some place to go, have you? You now have the ability to wall kick from one wall to the other. However, they must be close enough to achieve any real height. In order to wall kick, you must jump onto the wall and jump again after contact. Spyro, you must remember that only certain wall types will allow you to perform the wall kick. You must learn their telltale signs, none of your ADD. This completes Bring Elder Aster. Now to use our new wall kick ability to make our escape. By the dark shards is a gray spot you smash. Here we see a locked chest, but we're all out of lock picks. Ahead is bear trap enemy to defeat. There is also a Nork enemy to defeat. Here we see a firework box to ignite. Around the corner is an archer enemy to defeat. At the end is another gray spot you smash. Ahead we see a shop pad to activate. Let's get that lock pick. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. Why not buy more? Now to go open the locked chest. Inside we find a light gem. Hey, over here. here we see a spot to use a supercharged gadget. To the left, we see some strong chests to break using the supercharged gadget. If we look, we can see some piranha enemies frozen in the water. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Now to use the supercharged gadget to break through the strong door, be sure to jump over the gap. Using the supercharged gadget, we can run up the slippery green sludge. The right is just a decoy that leads to a large hole to fall in. Be sure to get the gems along the way. Here we come to another spot to use the supercharged gadget, but across we see a dark gem to destroy. This shatters the ice, revealing another tunnel to go through. Naturally, we'll need the supercharged gadget. At the end is a dragon egg to collect.
Continuing ahead is a Nork enemy blocking a lock chest. Let's defeat it and go get a lock pick. Go ahead, Spyro. If you got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. Ooh, that really is a good choice. Inside, we find some fireball ammo. Ahead, we have some bear trap enemies along with an archer enemy to defeat. Let's take care of the archer enemy first. That was close, almost ran into the bear trap enemy. Here we see an ice warrior enemy to defeat. We also see Sergeant Bird standing by. This enemy can use his giant icicle, it's a club or spear which it can throw at you. A simple flame breath is all you need to defeat it. Here we see an icy slope leading up. We also see a strong door to break and next to it is a locked chest. Let's go get a lockpick. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. Why not buy more? We're also going to need the supercharged gadget to break through the strong door. Behind the strong door is a dragon egg to collect. Now to open the locked chest. Inside, we find some fall lightning ammo. Looks like we can't pick up anymore, so let's head back to the shop pad and get some more magazines for our different breaths. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. Mm -hmm. Why not buy more? Why not buy more? Why not buy more? Now we should be able to pick up the remaining ball lightning ammo. This is the end of part 1 of level 11, Ice Citadel.